Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Lozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. The posterior forearm muscles consist of mainly wrist extensors and forearm supinators. There are two layers of the posterior forearm muscles, the superficial layer and the deep layer. The majority of these muscles originate on the lateral epicondyle of the humerus. The main actions of the posterior forearm muscles are wrist extension and forearm supination. The majority of the posterior compartment of the forearm muscles arises from the common extensor tendon from the lateral epicondyle of the humerus. The superficial extensors can suffer from an overuse injury known as lateral epicondylitis, which is nicknamed tennis elbow. The superficial muscles consist of the anconius muscle, the brachioradialis muscle, the extensor carpi radialis longus, the extensor carpi radialis brevis, the extensor carpi ulnaris, the extensor digitorum, and the extensor digiti minimi, while the deep layer of the posterior forearm muscles consists of the abductor pollicis longus, the extensor indices, the extensor pollicis longus, and the extensor pollicis brevis, and the supinator muscle. Again, the superficial layer of the posterior forearm muscles consists of the following muscles. The anconius muscle, the brachioradialis, the extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis, extensor carpi ulnaris, extensor digitorum, and extensor digiti minimi. While the deep layer of the posterior forearm muscles consists of the following muscles, the abductor pollicis longus, the extensor indices, the extensor pollicis longus, the extensor pollicis brevis, and the supinator muscle.